Good morning, evening, friends. Here's your friendly announcer. I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster. Uh, could turn your joy and laughter to tears and pain. It's that love. Y'all know the rest. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening, family. How y'all doing? Welcome once again to the Dang On Mental House with your host, Khadija. I'm so happy to be here another morning. Um, I have been, I'm on my way out the door and it is early in the morning here. So, <clears throat> the fact that I even got that song out is incredible. <laughs> okay, I regress. Let me get to the point. Actually, um, I just want to leave a comment. Everybody knows that the Oscars are happening, um, what is it, February 28th? That's just the 12th. What is it? Um, yeah, February 28th, I believe. And, um... Jada has made uh, a statement and there's a lot of people who agree with her, a lot of who don't in terms of the Oscars should be boycotted. A lot of people think that Jada is only saying that because um, Will did that movie Concussion and it wasn't nominated. And a lot of people say by far that was some of his best work, you know, and that it's really more personal for her. Okay, you know, then you have a uh, Snoop Dogg who, who who made his video who said "fuck them all," all right? They don't never recognize us. You know how they do in L.A. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They don't never recognize. Fuck you, cuz. Fuck you, the mork, the mork ass niggas. They don't, they don't never want to include us. That's Snoop Dogg, right? Um, and uh, he's definitely boycotting. You know, Whoopi Goldberg says that uh, she's in agreement with Jada Pinkett, and you know she's not going to, she's going to boycott the Olympics. I mean, I mean not the Olympics. I'm sorry, <laughs> the Oscars. And then you have. Uh, Janet Hubert, uh, who used to be Aunt Viv on The Fresh Prince, of course, she had her comments and she was more or less like, look, it's more important things going on about, you know, than these Oscars. I think she made some valid points when she said that, uh, I thought it was kind of funny. She said, Will and uh, Jada operate Overbrook, which is their production company. And their film, their uh, film distribution, I mean their film company, production company, and that they run it like Hollywood because they only produce the movies uh, with their families and friends. And so they operate like a small Hollywood, even though they're one of the most powerful uh, couples in Hollywood. So, just a lot of controversy. And someone asked my opinion uh, about it. So I'm just going to make it short and brief. Uh, you know, it's really sad to me after all this time that, you know, it's all about validation. And for some reason, uh, in my opinion, you know, black people still feel like they have to be uh, validated by uh, the Caucasian. Um, Somebody said something about when they have BET awards, none of the black artists show up, and yada, yada, yada. You know, first of all, I want y'all to know that BET is not black only. I hope, it may be now, I heard Oprah might have some um, 
dealings or my approach is BET. I'm not sure how uh, if that's uh, I should have you know verified that before I got on tape. But it's like, again, it's very early. But I uh, I just know that when Bob Johnson had it, it was bought by Viacom. Well, I should say it was strong armed and taken away. <laughs> no, Bob gave it up when it was at its height of successful uh, programming for black people. And it was a reason why it was bought off. Because when BET first came out, it was educating people. You know, you had Bev Smith. You had, I mean, you know, what was it? Our Voices. You had Teen Summit. You had a lot of good programming for black people. Real black programming. Um, not just booty shaking and video playing and um, bling bling and excess. And people bragging about shit that they know damn well with they don't have. And they don't need to be worried about. Um, but again, if you spend time watching that at that, that box, you know, you won't be controlled and programmed. So what they did was take it out of the control and the power out of Bob Johnson's hand, and um, it was uh, purchased by Viacom, and then the programming started changing. And even though. A lot of people didn't know about the intricacies, the in inside dealings. A lot of black artists never supported the BET Awards anyway. Um, when when the black artists would uh, when they'd get a BET Award, they wouldn't even show up. They'd send a, a tape. But if it was something like the American Music Awards or the Grammys, they would be there front and center because it shows me that somehow they still need some damn validation from white people. From the Caucasian people, they feel like they have. To, this is this my opinion, and I think it's sad because once you start examining that, it's like, damn, how deep, how psychologically damaging was like was slavery on um people, black people. How psychologically damaging is that? That you know they they created Hollywood. This is they shit, really. Um, in terms of Structure. I agree that my ancestors' blood and sweat and tears built this bitch. And I'm well aware of that. But in terms of the, the, the components that take place, like Hollywood, Hollywood is ran by a rich white men. Um, extremely rich. Who can write, put so many zeros behind a goddamn check, it'll make your head spin. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, my, 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 okay, listen, my point is this. We have to start validating ourselves. If you want to go to the Oscars, I would never tell Chris Rock. Not to host the Oscars. I, I'm not going to do that. I think we miss a lot of valid opportunities. Okay. Period. Um, so. You know. Hollywood is where the money is. We all know this. <laughs> we all know this. If you want to play in that game. With them. Then. Don't be surprised if you do a good product. And they don't include you. Because um, that's just the way it operates. Now, you can set up your own awards if that's what you choose to do and allow that, then support it. And if we feel, um, I don't person, personally, I don't even care about the Oscars, just so you know. Let me make sure I make that clear. I could care less. I don't even watch the Grammys and stuff you know, anymore. It's all political. You know, to that degree, but I, you know, but and I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, we all want to feel validated, you know, but I'm gonna try to stick to the point. The point I'm trying to make is, uh, there's a lot of money floating around in Hollywood, okay, and they, and they, the white people or the, you know, the people that sit around and run Hollywood, don't want to validate movies that are made by people of color. Then the people of color really should feel like, okay, we really need to support something that we feel is good work and we should be recognized. We shouldn't go banging them upside the head um, 
about you know this art because I'm I'm along the line of Janet Huper. There's a lot more better more things that are more serious. That if I'm really going to be talking about boycotting, you know, in economically uh, hurting something, then it's going to probably be about something a little bit more powerful than a damn award show. You know, when you got children and stuff being killed and stuff like that, and waters being poisoned, and you're talking about, um, you know, don't so, you know, not supporting the Oscars. That to me, that's my personal opinion. That to me is a little bit much. So no, I don't think that boycotting um, the Oscars is. This happens. Eddie Murphy did the same thing. This is not the first time that somebody has said, "Let's boycott the Oscars." There, there is no black film being. I mean, so it's the same horse being beat, 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 beat. Okay, so stop it. Stop it. It's a form of insanity. Create your own war show with uh, all you people out there that got a lot of money in Hollywood that you know really want to be acknowledged by your peers, or continue to support the Sundance of festival film festival, or, or do your own and get serious about it, and put your pull your money together, respect and honor your own. Okay, and if they want to support your movies, take the money and be glad of it because that means they appreciate good art and they want to be see you included but they cannot there's they're not going to go against the academy for you okay so you know you can't have it both ways now that's just my humble opinion and I'm sure a lot of y'all gonna be like my y'all say that but I really don't you know I really don't I really don't know what else to say because who cares? You know, I mean, Will and Jada, people, kids are dying. And, you know, boycott the Oscars if that's what you feel like you need to do. I wouldn't tell Chris not to get his money. I wouldn't tell him that. You know, I wouldn't tell him that. And if the white people want him to host the Oscars, go host the Oscars, Chris. Okay? Don't stop your money. I mean, don't even do it. Now, and until we understand the importance, uh, if there's a Latina award, I don't see them crying to the Grammys. Um, the, uh, they didn't include us. You know, I don't see that. They have a nice Latina and a, a, a Hispanic award show. Okay? Country. They have a nice um, award show. It's this whole country thing. Alright, so why don't we try to do a little more of that, a little less begging, a little less um, getting mad at them for the same shit they've been doing since the Academy started, you know, and if you do, you know you're only going to get a good uh, Oscar if you do something like Denzel Washington did in Training Day or Halle Berry, that's the only way you're going to get a damn Oscar anyway, so, you know, who wants that, <laughs> really, and stop looking for white people to validate you please you don't need to do that you great we're great we don't, we don't need that nobody has to be validated by any other group okay we, we, we belong here we the first people so we don't have to get into uh, you know they won't acknowledge us they won't acknowledge yourself acknowledge your damn self Okay, so, you know, I hope I didn't get too far off the subject. And, you know, like I said, it's early in the morning. I, had, you know, I ain't even drink my coffee yet. But I got to take my dog outside. And so I've been talking long enough. I hope y'all have a beautiful, beautiful Monday. Be blessed. And um, I'll see you later in the mental house. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.